everyone! I'm so excited to share with you my experience of attending White Night Geelong 2022, the amazing All Nights Art Festival that transformed the city into a dazzling spectacle of light, music, and creativity. White Night Geelong was inspired by the original White Night event held in Melbourne, which aimed to transform the city with spectacular light installations, art exhibitions, live performances, and interactive displays. Geelong as a regional city, adopted this concept and hosted its own version of White Night, bringing a similar immersive experience to the local community and visitors. White Night Geelong was held on Saturday, the 8th of October, 2022. Yes, this video was held in 2022, and we have just the time to edit them now. So you will see a lot of backlog videos coming soon. It was the first time in four years that the event has returned to the city because of... COVID-19. It was also the first time that I got to witness this incredible celebration of art and culture in person. And we were blown away by the variety and quality of the exhibitions, installations, and projections that were on display throughout the night. We arrived in Geelong CBD around 4pm because we needed to perform, or in this case just me, not mom. If you don't have an idea, I sing in a choir. It means that I know how to sing. <coughs> Being in a choir member is not just about singing songs. It's about being part of a community, learning from each other, and expressing ourselves through our voices, get to sing with amazing people who share my passion. We practice together, support each other, and have fun along the way. Our choir leader is a great conductor who guides us with her gestures and helps us improve our skills and confidence. She also chooses beautiful songs for us to sing, from classical to contemporary, and sometimes even writes her own compositions. Moving on... Just as the sun was setting and the city was starting to light up, I was greeted by giant inflatable objects that were hovering over Johnstone Park, one of the many whimsical and colorful creatures that were a part of the White Night Geelong Zoo installation. I couldn't resist taking a picture with it and striking a pose. As I walked around the city center, I was amazed by how different the buildings looked under the glow of the projections. Some of them were transformed into artworks themselves, such as the Geelong Library and Heritage Center, which became a canvas for a stunning animation of Wadarong stories and culture. One of my favorite parts of White Night Geelong was the live music that filled the air with energy and excitement. There were stages set up in various locations, featuring local and international artists from different genres and backgrounds. I especially enjoyed the drag queens in surrounding area. There were lively and entertaining showcases that feature individuals, typically men, who dress in extravagant and glamorous clothing and makeup to embody a heightened version of femininity. The main focus of a drag queen performance is the art of transformation and storytelling through a combination of visual presentation and stage presence. Speaking of visual, the organizer of this event is such a pro because they included those people who are both deaf and hard of hearing individuals and incorporated the Auslan. Auslan stands for Australian Sign Language, is a visual language used by the Australian deaf community. It offers several benefits for both deaf and hard of hearing individuals. Auslan provides a means of communication for individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing. It allows them to express themselves, share their thoughts, and engage in conversations with others who understand the language. It promotes inclusivity and breaks down communication barriers. Learning Auslan can enable individuals to become bilingual or multilingual. It provides an opportunity to expand language skills and broaden communication abilities. Being proficient in multiple languages could enhance cognitive development, problem-solving skills, and cultural understanding. We also love the food options that were available at White Night Geelong. There were food trucks and stalls offering a range of cuisines and snacks from burgers and pizzas to dumplings and churros. Unfortunately, we forgot to record all the food trucks and stalls, so we're very, very, very sorry, repeaters. I had such a wonderful time at White Night Geelong 2022, and I'm so glad I got to experience this unique and memorable event. It was a night that showcased the best of Geelong's art, culture, and community, and I can't wait to see what they come up for next year. If you have the opportunity to go down here in Geelong for this kind of event, be here because you won't regret it. Don't miss out on our updates by following or subscribing to our Patreon channel. Or if you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave comments down below. Please like this video if you find it entertaining and informative. <laughs>